Hey there everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I will show you how to screen mirror Android device to PC or laptop using USB cable without any software. This video will work 100% for any kind of Android device, I am guaranteeing it. Just invest your 7 to 8 minutes in this video and you will never have any issues screen mirroring your Android phone to PC or laptop. So let's get started right away. First of all, open up any of your browser and search for SCRCPY. SCRCPY, that is meaning screen copy. Search for it. And here you can see a website called GitHub is showing CPY, SCRCPY. Go to that website. And from here, just scroll it down to the point where you can see get the app. Then go to the Windows or if you have Mac OS, go to Mac OS. The process is same for both. So don't worry, it will also work for Mac OS. So as I am using Windows, so I will go with Windows. Then scroll it down and here you can see SCRCPY Win64 version 2.3.1. Just tap on that and it will automatically start it downloading. Just wait for some time and as you can see I have down successfully downloaded the file. Then I will open the file. And it's a GIF file actually so I need to extract it. So I will go and extract this file. So as you can see here is my software. Uh, so how can we down, uh, how can we use the software to uh, screen mirror our Android phone? So let's, let's make it happen now. For that you need to go to your C drive or the drive where you have installed your Windows. I have my windows installed in C drive so I will go to C drive then create a new file called scrcpy okay then then I will go to download where I have downloaded the software click on copy I will copying all this file to the folder I have recently created this folder on C drive just paste it and as you can see this is uh, now in C drive so let's uh, let's move on to our next part for this video which is to setting up the software itself so how can we do that for that reason, you need to go to your search bar and search for settings. Go to the settings option. And from the settings, you need to search environment. Here, here you can see edit the system environment variables. Just tap on that. And from here, you need to go to environment variable. And here you can see path just tap on that and click on edit option from here you need to tap on new button and copy the directory and at first copy the directory of this folder on the C drive copy this by click tapping on there and click on copy then go to here Click on new, paste it and hit enter and then click on OK and OK. Then click on OK and that is pretty, mu that pretty much it. Now, now we will set up our mobile phone so that we can screen mirror. So let's move on to our mobile screen. Alright guys, we are on our mobile screen right now. First of all, we need to go to our settings, go to your settings as well. 
then scroll it down to the point you can see about device any of your mobile phone just go to your about section and from here you will see an option called build number start tapping on it and it will turn on developer option for your mobile phone after that you will go to your search bar and type for developer as you can see here is my developer option go to the developer option you need to turn on the developer mode just uh, turn it on then scroll it down and from here as you can see and uh, usb debugging you need to turn on the usb debugging and hit ok that is pretty much it for the mobile section after doing all this process on your mobile phone then first of all you need to connect your mobile phone to the pc or laptop by using usb cable make sure that your usb cable is well enough to connect it with your pc if your usb cable is not good enough then you won't see any notification like this usb debugging connected you won't see anything like that on your notification of the mobile after connecting the usb to the pc or laptop so after that go to the search bar and search for cmd then click on right click run as administrator then type from here just type str cpy and hit enter and that pretty much it all right as you can see my here is my mobile screen and the amazing part is that i can control my mobile from from right here so guys uh, it can be annoying to uh, go through all this process to just screen mirroring your android phone to the pc so i have make a solution for that you can uh, just make a file like this app or this app so that you can double tap and uh, all the process works behind you and you just get the screen mirror right front of you in just double tap or in just one click so how can you make a file like this so for that first of all you just need to uh, sil uh, create a new text document and from here you just need to type scrcpy all right then control then go to the file and save this file then cross it all right let's rename it Re uh, let's rename the file all right then uh, go to the uh, file explorer and from here on the three doors go to these three dots and go to option and it will turn on your folder option from here you need to go to the views and untick the hide extension for known file types then click apply and ok then from here as you can see screen mirror dot txt we will rename that we will rename our file like txt we will clean that and write cmd okay and he done yes and that pretty much it so for after that then again go to explorer file explorer click on three dots options views and let's uh, tick mark on this again and hit ok hit apply then ok so guys as you can see we have make a file which can be used as your screen mirroring app which can be replaced your screen mirroring software let's double tap on it and check it if it works or not just double tap on it and as you can see this works 100% here you can see I am exactly using my mobile from through my PC or so that is how you can connect your mobile or Android phone to PC or laptop via USB cable. So thank you so much guys for watching this video. If you have any question just comment down below and I will be happy to answer that. So thank you so much guys for watching. Have a great day.